everybody. My name is Aubrey and thank you for joining me today for 20 minutes of high intensity interval training. We're going to be doing um, warm up, some intervals uh, for our workout and then we'll do a little bit of cool down too in that 20 minutes. I just want to make sure that um, you go ahead and grab a mat or a towel or a blanket, something for a little bit of cushion because we will be doing some exercises on the ground as well today but you don't need to grab any weights or anything. If you have any extra weights, you feel free to grab them or water bottles or something extra if you want to add extra a little bit to it. And there'll be a couple exercises where I can let you know when you can use those, okay? So we're gonna get started today with a warm up in just one second. Now let's get started with some jumping jacks. Okay, go to the end of your mat. We're gonna walk it out. Bring your knee up as close to your hand as you can and your hand up to make a T back down put your foot back into a plank and then we're gonna do the other side knee up T, and back and then walk it back up so for all of this do the best you can on all of these again bring your foot up as far as you can Stay in that plank position and do mountain climbers. For these, if the mountain climbers is too much for you, try and keep that plank position and just bring your knees up slowly or go to your knees and bring your knees in. Almost there. rest okay we're gonna take one minute rest then we're gonna get actually started with the workout today we're gonna to do two separate rounds each round is gonna be seven different exercises you're just gonna follow me do what I do I'm also gonna give you some instructions for modifications while during the time that we're doing the exercise so you're gonna be working on the exercise for 40 seconds I'm gonna demonstrate and then you're gonna keep going for that 40 seconds but I'll be showing you some modifications for those of you that might need them and then after that 40 seconds, you'll have 10 seconds rest to take your, catch your breath just a little bit. <laughs> and then also get ready for the next exercise. So our first round is gonna be starting here soon. We're gonna be doing some side lunges. So you're gonna wanna stand up and get ready. We've got 10 seconds till we start. We're gonna start with our right side. In three, two, one, and lunge down come up and then I want you to lift that leg up to the side all right so keep going through that 40 seconds For those of you who are struggling a little bit with the lunge I want you to just focus on that leg lift if you need to go ahead and do this exercise somewhere where you can hold on to a wall or if you're just doing the leg lift especially and you're doing this with a friend go ahead and hold on to your friend as well all right we're gonna go down onto the mat and we're doing Superman push-ups so we're alternating Superman with push-ups in three two and one go Superman up and push up okay keep going for this one, Superman, you want to make sure you are getting that good flex all the way down your back. Lifting those arms and legs at the same time. Get that 
that good flex in your back, come back down, push up. If push ups are um, difficult for you, that's fine. I want you to keep moving by staying on your knees. So you can still do the Superman and then come up from your knees. All right, 10 seconds rest. Next, we're going to be doing some side planks, but we're gonna be alternating. So stay down here, side plank in two, one, up, and then go back to the center, and up, the center, and up. Now for this one, again, those of you who can keep going with that, those of you who are struggling a little bit to hold that up, you can hold it up on your knees, just like you would with a push-up on your knees, and then go to the side, Just make sure you keep moving. And rest. Back up. We gotta do the lunges on the other side. Three, two, one. Left side down, lunge, and bring that leg up. And now you're trying to do as many as you can in this 40 seconds. Again, if you're struggling with the lunge, go ahead and focus on that leg lift. If you struggle with the balance going from the lunge to the leg lift, just do the lunge. So you're gonna be doing it on either side. So you still get that work on both sides, okay? some punches. Get your fists up. Three, two, one, and go. Now you want to punch as many times in this 40 seconds as you can. Try and keep up your pace. If you find yourself getting worn out, shake your arms off a little bit, and then maybe come back to it and lower your pace a little bit so you can keep going through it. If you're already turning out, you might want to lower your pace a little bit. We got 20 seconds left. This is a good one that you can grab some of those water bottles or weights that you had. Just hold on to them. A little bit goes a long way with this exercise. Almost there you guys. Five more seconds. And rest. Nice job. We're going to be doing some squat pumps now. And I'll show you what that means. Squat in three, two, one. Squat down. Stay down here. Pump. And up. All right, keep going. So now what the pump does, the pump gets rid of the momentum that you're building as you go down. So you're not just bouncing right back up. So it gets rid of a little bit of that, makes it work a little bit harder. If you wanna challenge yourself more, you can do more pumps. So go down and do one, two, three, and then up. Or if the pump is too much, just go with the squat too. That works too. And rest, back on down to the mat. This is your last exercise for this round. Boat crunches. Three, two, one. You're bringing your knees and your chest together. Some of you might struggle with doing that both at the same time. You can do one or the other. So you can keep your feet down and just do a crunch. Or you can go on your elbows here and just do your knees. But when you get to that point, try and challenge yourself to do both of them at the same time. You guys, we're almost there. Then we get a big long rest. Whew. All right, rest. We're going to rest for two minutes, two whole minutes, because for these high intensity exercises, you want to do as much as you possibly can during the exercise time and during the rest between rounds you want to really bring that heart rate down so that you're close to starting from the beginning so you can get as much of the workout as possible go ahead and rest 
on the floor for a little bit if you want to. We are going to get up and walk around a little bit. I want to make sure that you are still getting up throughout this time, but feel free to rest as you need to. Move around a little bit. Get up when you're ready. Make sure though you're grabbing your water. If you're like me and you're outside in the loft, whoop, got a little pressure build up in there, huh? <laughs> If you're outside in the Las Vegas sun, you especially need water. But even if you're not, even if you're inside in the air conditioning, you still need to have some water, especially with workouts like this, because these are hard. You're going to be sweating quite a bit and uh, you need to be able to replenish what you're putting out. All right, we've got less than a minute left. So we're going to come make sure you come stand up if you haven't already. Our second round is going to be the same format we're going to be doing all different exercises if you are at all finding it difficult to um, just follow along as I do the exercises please feel free to run this workout a second time so that you know kind of what's coming all right we've got 20 seconds left starting with dolphin push-ups so you're going to go down to the ground and we're going to be starting similar to a plank okay three two and one go into like a v up and then you want to press down bend your elbows let your head come down to the ground to challenge yourself if you have a chair keep going by the way <laughs> if you do have a chair nearby and you want to challenge yourself feel free to put your feet up on that chair or couch or whatever, stairs, whatever you have. Also, if you're finding it a little too difficult, so the further out you go, the harder it's going to be um, when you're in this as far as like balance, but you can't go down this far either. So, whoop. and rest. All right, everybody up three, two and one we're doing good mornings you bend forward at the waist come up and jump if the jump is too much for you go ahead and just work on the good mornings Make sure you're bending just at your waist. And you can skip that jump if you want to. All right, rest. Okay, next one we're doing rainbows. Down on the mat and low plank. Three, two, one. Go one hip down and then roll your hips over and go down to the other side. As many as you can. Make sure when you're doing this, you have hips down on one side, roll them over so it looks like a rainbow and go to the other side and back. So you're not just tipping. You wanna kind of bring your entire hips around and around. Ten more seconds. And rest stay down here we're gonna go into a plank position in three two and one we're gonna do shoulder taps now again for this one if you want to challenge yourself feel free to put your feet up on some furniture so you're more directly down and not so much as of an angle you're more of a right angle instead of a triangle with the ground if that makes sense um, also, if you're having trouble holding up that plank, again, go ahead and go on your knees and keep tapping. That's the goal, is to keep moving, get as much movement as you can in. And up. Next, we're doing sumo jacks. So we're gonna go down a sumo squat in three, 
two, and one. Bring it down and jack up. All right, keep going. For this one, make sure when you do the squat, you're leading with your bottom and not your shoulders. So instead of reaching down like this, reach down with your booty. And if you can't touch the ground, that's fine. Just go as far as you can, as far as comfortable. You don't want it to hurt, hurt, but you want to feel um, your muscles working. So go down as far as you can comfortably and then jack up. And rest. Next one, going down for some sit-ups. In three, two, one, go down and up. For those of you who find it difficult to do the entire motion, you can try doing some crunches. But what I really suggest is try to do the whole motion using your arms as a firm momentum. And this is what I mean by that. Instead of just having your arms out, you're gonna bring them up over your head as you go down and then throw your arms up to help pull yourself up. The momentum really, really helps and get your body used to doing that full motion. Try and do as many as you can without doing that and then go ahead and use that for assistance. Rest. 10 more seconds, we have one more exercises. So exercise everybody up in three, two, one. We're doing 180 switch jumps. So squat jump around 180 degrees, back and forth. Keep going, you're almost there. For those of you, if this is hard on your knees, I know there's a lot of you out there, don't feel bad. If you can, try just doing regular squat jumps without the turn. I know that that can change a lot for some people. Also, if that's an issue still, if the jump is a problem, do a squat and then turn around and squat. Almost there you guys. Three, two, and one. You are done. Nice job today. Whew. We're gonna take a little rest, take a little breather, go ahead and get some more of that water. rest a little bit please make sure you are getting up as soon as you can walk around a little bit and then we are going to do some stretches now I'm only gonna do a few stretches with you guys today but if there is a certain body part that is a little sore or you feel it's a little sore tomorrow or you just feel like you worked it extra today feel free to go ahead and do some more stretches in that area okay so we're gonna start with our legs today Go ahead and kick your heel out and just sit down into it. Now you should be feeling it back here in your hamstrings. So if you're not feeling it at all, sit down further. If you are feeling it too much and it's hurting, then go ahead and let up on it. Stand up a little bit more. You only want to feel the stretch. You don't want it to hurt, okay? Go ahead and switch to the other side. And that goes for all of these exercises too, just so you know want to feel the stretch but you don't want it to hurt hurt all right now let's switch it to the front of the leg we're gonna stretch pick up that foot hold on to your toes hold on to a wall if you need to as well <laughs> for this one if you are not quite feeling the stretch don't pull on your foot like this what you want to do is thrust that hip forward a little bit and you can feel that stretch increase in the front of your leg here, your quads. All right, now go ahead and switch. All right, shake it off a little bit. <laughs> or a lot of it. <laughs> Bring your arm in front of you, pull it in with the other arm, and go ahead and look at that shoulder. That's gonna really strengthen that stretch and bring in a 
bring in some stretch to extra muscles by looking at that shoulder so you can feel that extra stretch happening. Make sure you're breathing through all these two. Nice deep breaths. All right, let's switch arms. Nice deep breaths this whole time. Shake it off again. All right, now we're gonna bring our feet, fingers behind us. You can hold them like this or like this, whichever you're comfortable, and just bring those up as far as you can. If you need to, go ahead and hold onto a towel if you can't quite touch your arms, and just bring them up as, hard, as high as you can. You should feel that stretch in your chest. Go ahead and look up. Really feel your chest open up. thing we're gonna do is make sure to take some nice controlled deep breaths I love doing this because it really calms me down after a really good workout really brings in that cool down okay so take a deep breath up and breathe out two more of those deep breath in and out one more deep breath in and out. Awesome job. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, please, again, feel free to go through this workout as many times as you want. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. And thank you for joining me.